We begin with Typhoon Francisco, in Japan. They cannot seem to catch a break in Asia. Multiple typhoons developing over the past few weeks. A series of low-pressure systems migrating northward due to an atmospheric convergence near 800 MB pressure, mixing with cold Arctic air from the north, producing a ripe environment for large typhoon development. In the West Pacific, currently, Typhoon Francisco, Tropical Depression No. 27, Tropical Storm Lekima, all forecast on a northwest track towards Japan. Meanwhile, in the East Pacific, we now have Hurricane Raymond, which currently resides off the western coast of Mexico, near Acapulco. All the aforementioned storms forecast to at least go into Category 2 status. In the United States, we continue to see a dominating convergence over central Canada, multiple low-pressure systems to the north, already producing heavy snowfall, freezing temperatures, reaching far south into Texas and New Mexico. Several freeze warnings issued, and reports on farmers scrambling to harvest before snowfall this past week in Kansas. Earthquakes, something we know to be directly tied to solar activity, such as coronal mass ejections, and solar flares. With minimal solar activity currently taking place, the current earthquake unrest is more likely to be blamed on internal Earth forces. Excess retraction, further crustal movement, displacement, and pressure transfer are the main causes of our current global unrest. In Australia, multiple mainstream news reports about the out-of-control wildfire situation near Sydney. Dominating high pressure, mixed with a warm northwest breeze, along with very little precipitation, has mixed to form the perfect non-storm, leading to very dry conditions, resulting in massive wildfires across vast areas. The solar activity has been minimal, with only 10 active regions, all of which showing minimal geomagnetic instability. The coronal and umbral magnetic fields on Earth and the Sun are stable, showing no abnormal activity. Finally, for all our eyes on Iceland lovers, the recent reports of the comet being seen in the Hawaii French telescope are not correct. Still too faint to be seen from Hawaii, this comet is forecast to survive its trip around the sun, and should promise a stellar view this coming winter. No meteors, no UFO piloting it, and certainly no alignment earthquakes to worry about. The time is 4am, and that is the news. Eyes open, no fear.